Did you get one of these emails from EVGA? I bet you trust that everything will be fine when you switch from the KR model to the KL model of any of the 3000 series GPUs. But are you really sure? Well, guess what? We're gonna find out right now, right here on Robitech. In April of this year, we got confirmation from NVIDIA that they were gonna be creating new hash rate limited GPUs, which were slated for release in mid-May and specifically targeted the RTX 3060 variant of the 3000 series of GPUs. People had a bit of a reaction to this because of course this isn't the first time NVIDIA had tried a tactic like this. And I would love to know down in the comments below, should we be battling the evil crypto miner? But in the modern world of GPU shortages, it wasn't much of a surprise that NVIDIA might try something like this to help increase the number of GPUs it's trying to get directly into the hands of gamers like myself or like you. In their words, GeForce is for gamers and CMP is made for mining. Just for you those who don't know, CMP is a professional mining card, but way less desirable because once you're done with them, nobody wants to buy them which is a problem because you're not recouping any of your investment. Fast forward to mid-May of this year and NVIDIA, not only did they announce this for the RTX 3060, but also the 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080s. Basically, any newly manufactured GPU was now going to be hash rate limited. Minus the FE versions of the cards, which kind of blows my mind because apparently those are not gonna have LHR variants of them at all. Now the question is, what is LHR? Well, that stands for limited hash rate. So what is a hash rate specifically? Well, hash rate is very simply referring to how many calculations a piece of hardware can perform every second. This is kind of an important metric for cryptocurrency miners as most of the mining operations require solving complicated math problems, and this is where hash rate comes into play. Now, I know if you are a miner, currently the bad guys of the GPU war, you have been following along with this story for a number of months. But for those of you who aren't so informed and just know that GPU prices suck, probably were a little surprised, maybe not, that this email just showed up from you from EVGA. Well, to put it simply, this is a move from what is essentially the non-limited versions of the 3000 series GPUs that you have been pining for since the early days of old, and moving that model to the new LHR model of the GPU, given more than likely only gamers are wanting these GPUs, unless the mining community bypasses it, and frankly, that hopefully that's not a thing. But, you know, never know. The problem is, is that right now, they, NVIDIA is not giving any partners non-LHR versions of the chips. Now, the world runs on trust, and we know it, but heck, we make videos. We make YouTube videos, and these are supposed to be about drama. So we need to verify, because maybe something's wrong and we're gonna get millions of hits, but we just wanna make sure that this little transition isn't just affecting the hash rate, and we're not losing any of those precious FPS we care so much about. So this brings us to the purpose of today's video. Does the LHR mode, or in this case, the KL version of the EVGA cards, only affect mining and not graphics. Now we're not going to confirm that the GPU mining hash rate is indeed dropped and by how much. There are a ton of YouTube communities who are probably already have answers to this. And you know what, honestly, I don't GPU mine. I'm not gonna start GPU mining. And so if you want that information, I'm sorry, this is not the place to get it. I duly apologize. However, we are gamers and we like gaming and we like to build PCs for gamers. So we do want to know that the only thing being touched is that pesky hash rate, and this won't affect our very precious FPS. FP <laughs> and this won't affect our very precious FPS. So come along on a journey to benchmarks. You know, that sounded way cooler in my head. <laughs> So let's talk about the system we use to test. In this scenario, we use the Montec Air 100 ARGB with a B550M or some other board using BIOS version 3402. For the CPU, we use the AMD Ryzen 5600X. We had 32 gigs of Vengeance RGB Pro SL RAM running at 3600 MHz. For the two cards that we tested, unfortunately we couldn't get identical cards, we know how hard GPUs are to get, but it still works for this experiment. We used the EVGA RTX 3060 Ti FTW3, the LHR version, and the EVGA RTX 3060 Ti XC. This is a untouched, un unhurt uh, 3060 GPU. Both RTX 3060 Ti's, but we do expect, and we will see, better results from the 4 the win 3 given that the cooling and slightly higher base clock. Okay, so for our testing, we ran these two cards through the gamut of testing we usually do when we do our ultimate case reviews. So let's start talking about Tomb Raider running at 1440p with RTX DLSS on the highest preset. 
For the non-LHR version of the RTX 3060 Ti, we saw an average frame rate of 108 frames per second across our runs. For our LHR version of the card, and remember, this is an upgrade to the For The Win 3, we saw an average frame rate of 119. So a 10 frame per second increase and in line with what we kind of expected. For Metro Exodus running at 1440p with the benchmark set to extreme, ray tracing set to high and DLSS set to balance, Starting with the non-LHR version of RTX 3060 Ti, we saw an average frame rate of 51.28 across our different tests, and for the LHR version of the card, we saw an average frame rate of 54.45. And to round out all of our single player experiences, for Borderlands 3 set to 1440p and running badass, yes, that is the graphical setting, we again start with the non-LHR version of the RTX 3060 Ti, we saw an average frame rate of 73.35, and finally, on our LHR model of the 3060 Ti, we saw an average frame rate of 75.18. Again, we expected to see a slight bump. For, so for everything for single player, things look like they should be. Slight edge on the 3060 Ti for the Win 3, and no game performance issues coming out of the LHR version or the Dash KL version of the graphics card. But what about MP? Surely we have drama there. There's gotta be issues. Well, let's talk about it. Kicking off with Apex Legends running at 1440p, optimized for frame rates by using low visual settings, aka best competitive settings. Starting with the non-LHR version of the RTX 3060 Ti, we saw an average frame rate of 217 FPS. For the LHR version, we saw an average frame rate of 243.9. No drama there. Let's talk about Warzone. For Call of Duty, Warzone, again, optimizing for competitive. Is there drama? Well, for the non-LHR version, we're looking at 167.9 and then for the LHR version we saw 164.4 wait a minute I oh yeah that's right yeah that's right that was weird this one was actually weird we don't know why it, it actually just looks like it's a little bit of a fluke but again that's what actually happened now finally finishing Fortnite because well it was the last game we tested. We again optimized for FPS and low visual settings and optimized for competitive. On our non-LHR, we saw an average frame rate of 400.3. And finally, for the LHR version of the GPU, we came in at 424.3 FPS. Phew, that was a lot of numbers. So what does it all mean, Roby? Well, in short, as expected, we did not see any gameplay impact from the limited hash rate version of the GPU, which I mean, isn't that kind of a good thing when something comes out the way you expected it to? No, dang it! We need a fuse! No, I'm just kidding. So, there you have it, guys. Basically, nothing to worry about. Unless you're a crypto miner and a gamer, I guess, then you may actually care. So, if you got an email and have no fear, there's nothing to worry about. And when you get your GPU in your grubby little hands, know that it's going to work the way it's supposed to. But what are your thoughts? Was that email concerning when you got it? Did you actually consider changing your pre-order back to the KR? Which, by the way, don't do because they're not making them, so you'll be waiting a very long time. I'd love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a video right here on Robitech. We also have a live show. I don't know if you know about it, but guess what? It now happens every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, both here on YouTube and also on Twitch. We also have an incredible community over at discord.gg slash Robitech. You can ask all your questions about your PC builds. Basically, you wanna post your pictures. We have an, inc I mean, 13,000 plus people hanging out there. We also now have a brand new site, robitechdeals.com, where we have Tom the Bot, who basically is trolling the internet trying to get you the best deals on everything that you can. Guys, it's, it's GPUs, it's everything. You name it, he's got it. He tries to get deals for you and it's happening 24 seven. Also, check us out on all our socials, TikTok, Instagram, you name it. We're there, it's all at Robitech. We can't wait to see you. Okay, maybe we're not on MySpace, Tinder, somebody swiped right, thank you, I'm just kidding. But anyway, guys, we hope you enjoy this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.